morning, good morning, good morning to you all, and welcome to Motivated to the Max. As you can tell, I am your host. This is your boy, Daryl Tisdale of here, Motivated to the Max. Welcome, 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 welcome to my people that is on Facebook land. Welcome to my people that's on watching this on YouTube. Watch, welcome to my people that's watching this on Twitch. And welcome my people in the podcast land as well. I pray and hope you all are doing well. If you guys are all do me a favor before we even get started and kicking up in here, I want you guys, I want you guys to share this thing. I want you to like it, love it. You know, do the wild emojis, all that, and all that in the bag of chips and everything like that. Podcast land, y'all know how we do it. Y'all make sure that we share this thing. Because we want this thing to go across the nations and across the whole world. From where do we want to what? Motivate everybody to the max. Yo, I am excited because today is Wednesday. That is right. That is win, like W-I-N and then day. So Wednesday. So I'm praying, hoping you all are doing great on the day. But oh, before we get started, let me go over some little house rules for you guys first real quick. Rule number one, we come in here hot. That's right. I said hot. Honest, open, and transparent. Rule number two, we coming in here lit. That's like, oh my god. Oh. Some people are like, oh, y'all like to come in here lit. When I mean about lit, though, when I say lit, I mean living in thankfulness. All right. That's why we mean when we say we come in here lit as well. And then and then number and rule number three, be yourself. Be yourself. It's always great for you to be yourself. You don't have to fake the funk up in here on today because you know what? We all everybody up in here that comes on here live on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, podcast, and everybody that comes up in here, you are somebody. So why fake on being somebody that you're not? Just be be yourself. It's all good to be yourself because you know why? Because just by you being yourself, hey, you will be motivating somebody. You be motivate. You be helping motivating somebody to their max as well. So yo, how you guys doing? I'm doing great. I, y'all know I got all this little bit of energy and everything like that. It's like one of the mornings. You know I got up. Oh, sorry for my Facebook land. Sorry for my small little tardiness and everything like that. I had a I had a phone call and I had to take that phone call and everything like that. And so everything is good. Everything is all right. And everything, I had to get some things situated for tomorrow. And so they had to call me in and make sure I had everything taken care of for tomorrow. So it's not going to interfere with motivated to the max on tomorrow or anything like that. I just want to make sure I had some things covered for tomorrow and make sure that I was good. So, man, how you guys are doing? I'm doing great. Uh, you know what? I'll be forgetting this every time, but I have to learn not, not to do this to you guys. Before we even get more deeper and into this thing whatsoever, I need you guys to go ahead and get ready to do your 10 second count of detox. And then some people, if this is your first time watching Motivated to the Max or listening in here on podcast, when I say about the 10 second count off or your detox, this is from where the, you take everything that's been trying to hold you back, every negative thing that you even thought about yourself, people that said about you, even from where you want to get to the point for where you want to quit, this is where we detox out that stuff out of our bodies right now and from where that we can be recharged up from where we can do the things of what God has called us to be, for where we can go ahead and do things to the max. That's right. I'm I'm feeling that to the max thing. I'm just I'm just having that point for where you gotta feel it to to the max. So yo, here go your 10 second count off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and what we like to do, we like to just cast that thing out there in the sea of forgiveness for where it do not want to ever come back up again, again on us on today. I always give out a chance to try to do that at least every day, like do that like every day. From where you know you might have went through something rough during the, during the week, during the day, and yo, just have yourself a little ten second count off, have yourself a little detail. Say you know what. I can do this. I can do that. So, yo, and then put your, you know, put yourself in a positive way. Don't ever look at yourself at a negative way. And then, if you had to look at yourself in a negative, in a negative way, look at yourself in that negative way that you can change it to positive. So then you can keep moving forward and doing the things of what you're doing for the glory of God and also for yourself. Like I said, man, today is Wednesday. You know, some of us like to call this Hump Day. 
you know, so it'd be hump day. We like it's halfway through the week and everything like that. For me, you know, hey, this, I like to call this, you know, victory Wednesday because hey, I made it. <laughs> this is nothing like my halfway point to really get me ready for my weekend, really. Cause they didn't give me a chance to look at things, to do the things of what I need to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Seeing where I need to when I need to look at, where I need to focus hard for the rest of this week and everything like that. Yo, it's just like one of these moments from where it's like I'm happy, I'm joyful, you know, I'm enjoying what I love to do here, or I'm motivated to the max. So those y'all who's been rocking with me so long, thank you guys so much. Um, yo, today. I'm coming at you guys. It's like, yo, let go and have fun. Hey, have fun with what you love to do. You know, when you have that fire from what is some of the things that you love to do, yo, it's like, that's really like, you use that, you use that for your fuel to keep you going. I was listening to a training on Monday. I was in a training on Monday. And one of the trainers was saying like, yo, like you got to have fun with, you know, you got to have fun with, you know, with your business and everything like that. So I was like, man, have fun. I said, dang, he must have been like, he must have been like in my, in my head or, you know, like up in like my little members. Cause you know, sometimes we could be doing something. We like, well, you know, we're working in our business. We're doing that and we're doing that. And then we get like so overwhelmed for whenever it's starting not to be fun anymore. And so now we have to be at that point and say, you know what? Nah, I need this to be like my little my little relief. This is my time for whatever I can be like, you know what? I'm free. I can do what I need to do. And then, you know, and then go for it. You know, sometimes we have to have that moment for you gotta you gotta walk away for a few, you know, walk, take a few steps away and be like, you know what? Let me get myself together, you know, because everything's starting to go crazy. Because, you know, you're starting to worry about, come on, let's go ahead and keep a high honest, open, and transparent. You're starting to worry about, like, finances. You're starting to worry about, man, is this going to work right here? Well, how this going to look right here? Or is this going to go with this thing right here? I mean, and it's just like you're all over the place. But then sometimes, you know, you got to have fun with this thing. Just like take me for the day. I mean, like I said, I had no problem talking, talking about me because why not? Might as well talk about me. So, I know, like, with me, with me doing this, it was sometimes from where I had got to the point for where, you know, I was like, man, I ain't want to do this no more. Come on, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it real with you guys. I'm keeping it hot. He was like, I don't even want to do this no more. I just want to just go, I just want to just, like, come in, chill, you know, chill, lay down, rest, do what I need to do around the house, all like that, and then go back to sleep for the day. Trust me, it ain't, it ain't all that great. Trust me, you, when you get bored out your mind and you ain't got nothing to do from where you don't even want to, sometimes where you don't even want to play on your Xbox and then you're like, you know what, it's a boring day. But from where I had to get to the point, from where I was at a point, from where I didn't look at what I'm doing as a job. I looked at something from what I'm doing is like, yo, this is something that I really love to do. And so when I was young, when I was young, like, you know, I was young, I was in high school and everything like that. I was always into music. Music was like my thing. You know, I was in the music, you know, I was in the music. So I was in the, you know, I was in the band, excuse me, I was in the band and, you know, and like music was my thing. So like, and I was down with all types of music and everything like that. And so from where I was trying to like do like homework and stuff like that, Trump, look, let me tell you, I was not the best A and B student in the world. No, I was not that person. We keep it hot. I was like your C average. <laughs> I was like your C average person in everything. But you know, I wasn't. You know, I wasn't like. You know, I wasn't like on dumb dumb or like that. But you know, I just I had my moments. But from where I had a tape, I had a like. I had a, I had a teacher who told me one time, he was like, look, he said, you love music. And he was like my, he's like my history teacher. And I, I used to like, I always love taking this class, taking this person's class. So he was like, look, you like music, right? I said, yeah, I love music. I said, yeah, I love music. You know, listening to like back, you know, from like way back, like in the fifties and, you know, in the fifties and everything like that. Then, you know, like present day and everything like that. He said, okay, cool. He said, so whenever that you're looking at history, whenever that you're doing like history and everything, like whenever you're doing history and you're doing some of like uh, some of your other courses or what like that, 
use how the way that you love to do music on how the way you use that for your class. So like with me and my teachers used to get on me, but it was the best way for me to like to catch on for what I needed to do, you know, for like for math and everything like that. And he was just, you know, I would just have like, I'm thinking about, I'd be thinking about something for what we had to play in school. But then the same token while I'm doing it, you know, is making me go back from where, how do I can like do the math problem? You know, I have my own little, have my own little like banging on the table thing. So I like, oh, then have my answers or whatever like that. And I, and I'm going, I went back from where, how the way I was in high school and how the way I am today. From where I was looking at motivated to the max. First, I was like, oh, well, you know, well, people, you know, people need this, people want this and everything like that. So then it was almost like I was looking at it like it was being a demand, but really it's not a demand. It was just like, you know, like it's not a demand. It was just like, you know, this is what people need every day. So I had to take my, I had to take me, take self out of it and allow God to come in and it'll like kind of like push it for the way that I was like, you know what? The people need this, but then the same token, like I needed this too. So he made us aware that I, so like for me, everybody know me. I love to have fun. I love to crack up. I love to crack up and have fun and everything. So what's the best way to be able to get out and then and motivate people at the same time? Do a, you know? Do lives. Do your podcast. Be able to be yourself in the t- you know in the talk and to be real with everybody like that. And that was, I was like, one of my biggest keys was like, yo, was like, if I can't be myself, then there's no point in me even doing this. And so then, yes, I know it is times for where I had to be serious. I had to be, I had to be at a point for where I can't always be myself. But then the same token, I'm always still being myself because one, I'm learning. God, God is teaching me something new for whenever that I can, oh man, not even adapt for whenever I can upgrade to be to where I need to be at to be able to do the things for the kingdom of God. And so, like today, I wanted to come with you. I was coming with you guys today. I was like, "Yo, it's Wednesday. Yo, have fun on what you love to do. Have fun with it. Don't just be like they like. Just don't. Just don't be like them. Be like, oh, I gotta do this so I can make money. Man, shoot, I'm doing this because like, yo, I like to make people. I like to make people feel great. I like to make people smile. I like to make people laugh, and everything like that. Be at the point from where it's like. You're not putting in like your everyday circumstances and what you love to do. Just like with Latasha. I could say I could truly say this with my wife. My and, and everybody know my wife. She loves makeup. She loves doing like the lashes. She love I mean she loves looking good and everything like that. And so I noticed I noticed one thing with her. From where now don't get me wrong, she loved to go out and she loved to go out, make money. She loved being a teacher and everything like that. But whenever that you actually see her having the joy of actually doing on what she's doing, and then she was, and then we was even talking about this other day. She said, "Yo, even though sometimes I may be tired when I come home, and you know I may don't, I may not feel like doing everything like that because you know it's like I've been doing this and I've been doing that and doing this and doing it." She said, "But you know what? I wouldn't change anything." She said, "Because I love to, you know, because I love to do this right here. This is something that I enjoy. This is something that you know I like putting in that extra effort into and everything like that. Because once you push in, when you put in the extra effort that you love to do man you have a better result on things dang i gotta take that for myself y'all y'all know how we do so yeah when that you put the extra effort into the thing that you love to do then yo you see a different result and that's just like for whenever that you allow god to come in like when you allow God to come in in the efforts that what you're doing and then you allowing God to guide you and show you on what to do in the efforts on what you're doing to make you happy, to make you have fun with this thing, you will have a different result in this thing. So, you know, like for me, like I said, like, yo, I enjoy doing this. It's okay if you know if I don't have like the million views or whatever like that. I say, you know what? But I enjoy doing this. And it's, and it's never going to stop me from doing on what I love to do and what I enjoy doing. You know, I enjoy having conversations. Shoot, I enjoy for that we just sit here, cut up, wild out, have fun all day and everything like that. 
Yo, because you know why? Because like the effort from what I'm putting into this and I allow God to come in and to help me with the efforts that I'm putting in with this thing. Yo, I can have a different result with this thing because you never know just by me doing this here right now and everything like that. We don't even know how many people that we may be helping right now. And so guess what I had to do? I had to change my mindset on things. I had to be from the world for like, yes, this is busy. But then they also in the same time, I had to have fun with my business. I had to have fun, you know, like I had to be at the point where it was like, yes, I know this is serious. And, you know, I had to be at the point for where like, yo, I enjoy on what I, on what I do. It's kind of hard for that you're trying to do something and then like you don't enjoy it. Jeff, you talk to a person who was in school all the time, like, man, I don't want to do this. Why do I got to learn about this? Why I got to learn about that? But then I had to learn, say, yo, I need some of this stuff right here so I can be able to do what I need to do. And so just like here today, it's like, yo, just like, cool, bet, y'all know, I always keep it honest, um, how honest with you guys, right? Like, I'm still learning how to, like, how I can make this thing even more better. Sooner or later, man, like, you're going to be seeing, like, big old, like, green screens and everything real soon. And for where, like, you might be seeing a brother up in here in, in Miami, something like that, chilling and everything like that. But you know what? But enjoying what I love to do. And so, like, today, from where I was coming in, from where I was listening to the train, and the dude was saying, yo, have fun. You know, like, have fun, like, in your business. Like, have fun with it. Like, go out, go laugh, talk, do. I mean, I mean, I mean he was, like, really keeping it real. Just like with me, I was like, yo, I was like, well, I like to go out and have fun. But then, you know, I like to. I be, I'm like, I ain't trying to go and have everybody thinking I'm crazy. But then at the same time, it's like, yo, it's like, how you expect people to be like, what do you have? And on what do you have? And then that you enjoy on what you're doing and everything. If you're not even enjoying on what you're doing, how can you be able to get that out to people and you're not enjoying on what you're doing? Cause we can make money all day, but whenever that you don't enjoy on what you're doing, how's other people going to know is like, Hey, you know, like I might want to invest in that because somebody that loves doing that right there, like that gotta be worth looking into. So how can we sit right here and be like, well, you know, well, I do, I do, da 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 Okay, then that's all you do? Yeah, that's all I do. Then you're going to be like, I don't even want to deal with that. You know, I don't even want to deal with that. But then you go, you meet some other person, you know, they're enjoying what they're doing. They actually spend the time to sit there and talk with you or, you know, talk to you about their business and everything like that. And then they're actually going into like, yo, like this is, you know, this is what we're all about. Just like, you know, like big shout out to like the team Harris, you know, expressions LLC and everything. When I said that they enjoy on what they doing, they enjoy on what they doing. It was like, yo, like they got a big, they got, you know, they got a big, um, concert thing coming up in another week or so from where you know they got they got poets they got singers and everything like that but you know what would make it so interesting about the day enjoy on what they're doing same thing you know same thing like with team hunter like they enjoy on what they doing with intimate um you know with their you know with their marriage um with their marriage and everything like that with my you know with my niece on um, Samara and everything what she goes like she enjoys cooking and everything and when I say she enjoy cooking like she enjoy cooking like you gotta be like like you gotta enjoy it you can't be like you can't be like okay yeah well you know what well, we do this and we do that and you know we do and you do man it's almost like you don't even have confidence on what you do yo where is your confidence at I can sit right here and tell y'all this say, yo, motivated to the man, this is the bomb. This is like, yo, it's all that in that bag of chips. This is like, well, we make it do what it do. Yeah, come on, join in. Be like this. Yo, come on. Hey, you want to roll with us? Hey, let's roll. Yo, be at that point for where you like, yo, it's like, enjoy on what you, on what you love to do. Because we can all sit right here and say we got businesses and everything like that, but then we don't enjoy it. 
And right. And then like, yeah, we do. And I'm like, and we do enjoy on what we do. De- like definitely me with this right here. And then also uh, with Latasha, she loved like kicking it with Team Tinsdale. Whenever it used to be like talking with Team Tinsdale, I said, look, I got to change this up. I love it what we do, but I need to change it up how the way we say like talking with Team Tinsdale. Yo, we need to be kicking it with Team Tinsdale. Because I changed the name for a reason. I told y'all about that on Kicking It With Team Tisdale. If you don't, go find that episode. I <laughs> follow. Unashamed plug. But then, you know, it's the fact for where it's like you have to enjoy on what you're doing. And, you know, it's like some, like I have met some people from where, you know, you can tell from where that they enjoy really on what they do or where they really don't enjoy on what they're doing. Like I have met some people sometimes, you know, they talk about their job and they'll say, well, yeah, well, you know, I do this right here. And I do this right here. And then like they always find like every little small nagging little thing of what's going on. Like it can be like something so small is like, really, you gonna let that like bother you on what you do? Like, really? But then, you know, I met other people, you know, like they'll tell me about their job, and then you know, they had that one moment where they about to, you know, when they about to fit, you know, they're like, oh, this is getting overwhelmed, this is crazy, and everything like that. But then the same time he said, but you know what, y'all like, hey, I you know, hey, but I still you know what? I enjoy the people that I work with. I enjoy, you know, being able, you know, being able to help people throughout the day and everything like that. You know, I enjoy doing that. Let me tell you something, man. I used to work at a smoothie shop. Right, so I went to the smoothie shop. It was just me all day, just me by myself, me most of the day. So I was in the smoothie shop, and then you know when I had customers come in and everything like that, and I had customers come in and everything like that, and then you know I had some of the you know to say, hey, can you go ahead and make my food so I kind of gotta get back to work and everything like that. Cool, I got you, make the smoothie and everything like that. But then when they, that you had the ones from where they they need to come, they come in. They sit down, they enjoy their smoothie and everything like that. And then like we're having conversation. So then like we're having this, you know, so we have conversation. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's like super personal or whatever like that. But then you know, you take the time to sit there and then like you talk to that customer from where it's like, yo, it's like you're from where you're really getting to know this person and everything like that. And so like I had one customer who talked to me one time, and then they were saying, like, man, I don't want to bore you, you know, stuff and what I got going on and everything like that. But, you know, but then he was appreciative that, you know, that I was sitting there and I was talking, you know, that, that I actually sat right there and talked to him and I didn't brush him off. And I was like, why brush you off? And then one, man, this is the one thing I used to love about this, you know, love about company sometimes. It was like, yo, like, why should I brush you off? And then we always say, you know, whatever that the customer says, though, make them happy or whatever like that. So now I'm at that point for like, look. By you getting this off your chest, I'm doing my job and making sure that you good when you walk out that door. So then now, but then that same talking, like I was in that element because like what? I was a talker. I love it. You know, I enjoy company, talking with people and everything like that. And y'all, I want to see a smile on your face. Yes, that's probably why I'm doing motivated. Yes, that's one reason why I'm doing motivated to the max. I ain't got no shame with my game, yo. I have no shame with my game because you know what? Because uh, yo, I got confidence on what I'm doing right now. And that's where we all have to be at on today. Like, yo, have that confidence in your business. Have that confidence. Yo, just like, psh, boy, they go to the other team hunter right there. Just like, yo, like with, with um, Ron Hunter right now. Like, yo, when I say that she flow like in poetry and everything like that, it's like, yo, it's like she is confident in the things on what she doing, or what she's talking about, what she's writing about. And they're like, yo, she is so confident. It's like you can't even tell that she's going through anything right now. Y'all like have that confidence in what you do. And then you know, some people be like, well, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't too sure. You know, I, I ain't too sure and everything like that. Let me go ahead and knock you up on the head right now on some of this stage right now. Cause I had to knock my own self on the head right now. Yo, don't even talk and don't even talk down on yourself because you know what? If God was look, was God was able to put this in your put like have this for your vision. What makes you think that it won't work? Right. I, I'm look, I'm probably got some people gonna be like, like, Daryl, shut the front door. But it's like, yo, like if God look, it look, if God love us enough to give us our vision, what makes you think that it's not gonna work? What makes you think 
Mind you now, God the one who gave you the vision. So what makes you think that it's not going to work? Because we always say, I do, you know, I do all things through Christ who's on who strengthened me and everything like that. So what makes you think that it's not going to work whenever God doesn't give you that vision? And now to get to that point, say, you know what? Dang. I had to be my own. Look, I can get on my own self. I'm like, dang it. Y'all know me. I was like, dang it. <laughs> I was like, ah, why did I do myself like this? But then I had to get to that point from where and like, and it's, it's something I had to learn too. Yo, I had to learn how to have a lot of confidence in myself. So, yo, so this is that time for like, yo, like, this is your, this is your build up confidence mode. We always say like, yo, like, this is Wednesday. You know, this, you know, this is Wednesday. You know, I'm winning and everything like that. Yo, how you say you winning, man, but you looking like you dragging all the time. Yo, you say that you, like, and we say this is Wednesday and everything like that, then yo, then walk in that, it, that this is your victory, that you are winning in this thing. Yo, don't let the circumstance get the victory out of this thing. Yo, let, let God get the victory out of this thing. That's what I think about, that's why. that's how the way I think whenever it say, yo, this is Wednesday, say, yo, all right, it's Wednesday, I'm good, I'm pumped. I'm high. Look, I may not have got everything done on my list, but you know what? I Look, that's just the halfway mark. I still got the rest of this week to go. And I said, technically, how the way that I'm thinking right now, even though I didn't make that mark up to Wednesday right here, I got to next Wednesday to hit that mark again. And then I got next Wednesday to hit that mark again. And in that same time, when you hit like those small marks, it may not be big to other, but it was big to you. Yo, celebrate yourself because it could have been worse that you could not have made it to that point. To celebrate Wednesday. Yo, celebrate your Wednesday. Have fun, have fun on the things of what God has given you to do. Now, I'm not saying go, don't, I'm not saying go all buck wild and everything like that, but have fun on the things of what you love to do. From where I have to sit, like from where I sit right here on this computer screen right here, I go in, I tap in, do the things of what I need to do and everything like that. And then... And so then, you know, like, so then by the time I'm like, I'm working, I'm tapping in some of the things on what I'm doing, and then all of a sudden, God downloaded most stuff. So then now it's like, I'm going off. It's like, oh, snap, let me do this right here. I can't type real fast. So, you know, I'm like, this is me. Like, I'm typing, you know, I'm typing, make sure I get it. You know, make sure I get everything. And so then... And so then, like, now that, you know, I'm going back, I'm looking over it, and then I put that thing into action, and I was like, you know what, this joint might, I said, this just might work right here. Okay, just, just like, man, say, all right, you two, y'all already know, because this, you two, this is the first time, we, this is the first time y'all getting to really know me like that. It's just like, what, putting this whole thing, like, on YouTube and everything like that, yo, I was so freaking scared to put this thing on YouTube. I was like, man, well, what if people don't watch it? Well, what if this right here? Well, what if that right here? And then what if this don't happen right here? But y'all, so it's like, it's like, then also I had to learn and say, yo, but if you love doing it, it's like, yo, you're going to go through the low places for you to get, you got to go through the low places for you to get to the high place. So I was like, <laughs> so you, y'all know, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to, but you know, yo, we always, sometimes we want to be at that high place first. But then, yo, sometimes we got to hit that low first to be able to hit that high place. To be able to get the learning and understand to be able to go through that process. So, as I like to say with my sister Ronald, to get to that new new. Yeah, it's been several times where I done, like I said, we keep it as high. And I think I'm living in thankfulness because I thank God that he taught me this. It's been several times where I done fluffed up a lot of stuff. Trust me, I don't fluff that. Trust me, I have. So those of you out there watching on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, podcast, Daryl Tisdale has fluffed up plenty of times. All right, let's just go ahead and get that on out there. I make mistakes, okay? I make mistakes. 
but I had to learn from my mistakes to be able to get to my new new. You know what, Rhonda, you know how we do. Look, for me to get to my new new. So I had to go through some things. Trust me, it was time where I had to go through tears and, you know, from crying. I had to go through some things from when it was like, oh my goodness, I don't want to do this anymore. I was at times from when I said, you know what, fluff it. I didn't pick up my computer and throw it, but it was about several times I wanted to and everything like that. But from what from what, what I had to learn is like I had to go through the low place to be able to get to my high place. Is it easy? Nope. Go ahead and keep it. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping it hot with you. Nope. It ain't easy. Some. It ain't easy sometimes. Sometimes, like from where you have to, like, man. Sometimes you really have to be at the point for where, like, you have to take your away from a lot of things just to be able to find who you are, and not have, man. Y'all just pray for me. And not and not worrying about how the way people are doing this in here, like in your ears, doing all this talking and stuff in your ears, from where it had to be like, all right, God, I I, I need your help, and I ain't gonna move <laughs> until you tell me to move. But see, my situation is different from y'all's situation. So what things are what you need to do? What things are what you need to do to make sure that you're enjoying on what you're doing? Like what's some of the things of what you're doing to get to your new new? And like, like I said, and I don't mind being um, honest. You know, I don't mind being honest with myself and everything like that. It's been several times so whenever I had to face myself and look at the dark side of myself to be like, you know what? This really ain't me. Yeah, I had a dark side. Me and Latasha was talking about it like on yes, on, we were talking about it like last night. And my wife was like, yo, I had to tell my wife, I said, yo, like when certain stuff had went down with us and everything like that, man, I was in a dark place. For what I was like, Yo, like, I ain't want to do with this. I ain't want to do with that. I ain't want to do with this. And I, I said, I was at a point for what I was doing. This, 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 this. I ain't putting all my business out there. And then from where I had to like, I had, I had to really go and face that dark side of me and be like, you know what? This ain't, this ain't me and this, you know, this ain't God and this ain't me. So I had to go and face, you know, I had to go and face that thing. Yeah, I had to go through the thing from whenever I was hurt, I was crying, I was at a point where I felt like I was abandoned and everything like that. But then whenever I actually was able to see the light, to see my light, when I was actually able to see that around all that darkness and everything that I had going on, there still was like some light that was going on inside of me that was trying to shine out and to clear out all that darkness. Right, can't change what we won't confront. Exactly. So I had to go and confront, I had to go and confront me. And to really keep it, um, I, you know, honest, open, and transparent. Yo, I had to confront me. I wasn't even worried about the other person who done disrespected me or whatever like that. Who done played me or whatever like that. I had to work on me. At the time, dad would have been like, blank you, blank you, blank you, blank you. Oh, blank you. I would have been like, everybody. <laughs> Forget everybody. But then I had to look at me first. I had to like God deal with me. For where and then some people are like, well, you shouldn't be selfish about yourself. Man, I was selfish this time for myself because like I needed help. Right, who's next? Like, yo, like I had to be like, yo, like I was at the point I was like, oh, okay, then cool. Bet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't feel like dealing with nobody. Well, yo, I had to get to that point for yo, I had to deal with me. 
And then when I say I had to deal with me, man, I couldn't put I couldn't put no blame on nobody. I had to put I put the blame on me. And I said, okay, God, like I really need for you to like fix me up. I need you to help me. I don't even care about what what, what I'm really mad about with the other people or what like that. I need you to fix me. From where some of my look, from where some of my family members and them can tell me, like, yo, like, what's up with you? This ain't you. From where some of my family and friends, they took notice. And then this is always show for where it's like, yo, like, you really have to be like. It's like, I'm not saying like for you really be on your P's and Q, but really be like on your P's and Q's, but from where that like your where you where your family and friends could notice that something has shifted and it wasn't the right shift for you. From where you had like family members and friends talking to you, and then they were like, yo, this is not you. What is going on? From whenever I gotta have them come say something to me, and I say, you know what, I need to go check me out. Cause at the time or what like that, I'm right here blaming everybody else, but I'm not blaming the main person who I need to be who I need to be blaming and complaining on, and that was me. So then, like, now, I'm like, all right, cool, bet. And then, you know, and, and I ain't going to act like it didn't hurt. Yo, that joint hurt. I could have used another word right now, but that I'm keeping that real. That joint hurt. But from where I had to go, I had to go through my low, pre- my, my low spot to get to my high spot. From where God was showing me, was like, yo, you're going through this because of X, Y, and Z. When are you going, and literally, God literally had to be on me, like, when are you going to allow me to change you? You want to be up here in that high spot, that high spot right there, but I got to deal with you right here in the low first. Because then when you get up there to that high spot, then you'll be able to handle on what's about to come at you. And then when that and then when that next level stuff come for you and everything, then you gotta be, you gotta be ready to go for the next one. Right! Like I look, I had to like start from that bottom. So then it's like, yo, okay. And that's like, so, and then, and then, and then, it would make it so funny, yo, like, from where I had to, like, go through all of that, that's really what made me enjoy on what I'm doing right now. Because if I didn't go through that low spot in that period of time and everything like that, it would not have made me push to get up to a higher spot. You know how sometimes, you know, man, hold on. I got my phone right here. Y'all podcast, y'all moving around with. You know how sometimes, like, you're looking for a good signal or a good Wi-Fi spot. And then, you know, you got to, like, move around. You got to move around. It may look like, you may look like you crazy trying to, like, trying to find where yo. I said, dang, like, where can I get a good signal? Like, right now, man, I'm in here right now and I got a good signal. But, like, let me move it towards the kitchen or what like that. Then I ain't got no signal. That's how the way I had to be. Was, like... I was at this, I was in one spot, I had low signal. But then when I then when God stopped moving me around, I said, okay, I need you to be over here. God gotta deal with you on this right here. I need for you to be over here. I need to be over here, because you know I need to deal with you this right here. I need you to be all over this spot right there, over here right there. So then I can have a better signal to download in you. So then I'm like, man, like. Well, you know, then sometimes we be like, man, man, why I'm going through this? Or why this right here? And then you know why I gotta go through all this right? Maybe God's trying to get you get you a better signal. Man, okay. Whew. I know like for me, God had him, God had it, whoo! God had to remove me from dead air. From dead space. You know, when you're driving sometimes, it's like, yo, I'm here like a I'm here like a, you know, like a, uh, I'm here in the zone of an area for where my signal's going to go out and I will have no signal. Guys trying to move me out from that area from where I have a full signal. So 
So I was like, yo. Then for me to be able to move out from that dead, you know, that dead space to move into like getting a better signal. Yo, I'm able to enjoy the things of what God is downloading into me. I'm able to enjoy, you know, I'm able to enjoy business. I'm able to enjoy doing on what I need to do. And everything like that. Yo, because like God's just giving me a better signal every time. So, you know, today, I got to change my title up because this whole thing done shifted. The whole thing done shifted. Get a good signal. Allow God to be able to download for you to upload and get to your hot to your hot spot. So yo, I mean, like really, like I really had to like this is like really so, like and it's sometimes this is something that we all don't want to go through. Like we don't like oh like I don't want to go through bad or whatever. Yo, sometimes you have to go through that low man just be able to get to that hot spot. Because like guess what? That spot you may be in right now, like yo, you can't be you can't stay in that spot for long. You gotta get ready to move to the next spot. Like I was laughing at I was laughing at Latasha because of stuff and what she got going on this week and everything. And she was like, I was laughing at her, but then the same token, I was like, yo, people was tell people was telling us that yo, get ready. And for where like stuff was like was is mo- moving so fast, just like bam, this don't happen. Bam, this happened right here. Bam, this happened right here. And we was like, oh god, like what in the world is going on? And it was like, yo, it's like it's time for me to it's time for me to move y'all to another spot. You about to get a better signal. So I said, well, okay. <laughs> That's what I say was like okay. And so, like, yeah. Yo, so, that's it for the, that's it for today. So, like I said, this is going on Monday through Friday. Um, I did a podcast on yesterday, and that was called Pedal to the Metal. If you can, go back on, you know, Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, probably, you name it, it's probably on there. App, you know, on Amazon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on Amazon for Motivated to the Max. Go ahead and check that episode out. You know, download it, listen to it at your leisure, um, and give you feedback on that one as well. Because, yo, like I said, we're doing this thing five days a week, Monday through Friday. Um, so I did a live today. So I probably won't do one tomorrow, but, you know, you never know. God may switch it up and say, nope, you're going to do one tomorrow. So, hey, just be on the lookout for, for one on tomorrow, um, live or through the, or just do podcasts. Um, yeah, and yo, enjoy your Wednesday. Um, oh yes, and also as well, let me put this up real quick. Like yo, like like I said, Team Tears. Yo, we was in a we was in a book, and so right now the books are on sale. That's right, it's on sale. And so here is the link if you would love to get a copy of Build It Again from you know from team tisdale and everything like that go to this bitly link hold on let me get it up here first please where my thing go there you go and get you know go to that link right there fill out the information and then they'll tell you how you can make your payment you know to get a copy of build it again or some of the other book of the other collaboration that latasha was in and that is and for my podcast world that is bit.ly forward slash in capital letters t-i-s-p-u-b all right so you guys go in there get your copy of build it again it is an awesome book i ain't gonna front it's an awesome book i have the ebook and i'm just waiting for like the you know i'm just waiting for like the get our copies and everything like that because i actually like to have like the physical copy and everything like that because there will be a book signing coming in january so i will give you guys more details on that for the book signing so if you want to like order your book say hey well i want to come i want to order the book but i want to come get my book doing the book signing hey that is no problem we will give you guys all the details for the book signing and everything on that so you can come meet up with your boy here for motivated to the max and you know the whole team tisdale enterprise enterprise <clears throat> you can come meet up with me and latasha 
And then, you know, that we might have some more stuff going out there for you guys, you know, you know, doing the book signing and everything like that. So come check us out. It'll be in January. Um, just come and check us out. You know, I'm just a person, you know, trying to, you know, trying to just spread motivation across the world. That's all I'm trying to do. And then, you know, be on radio. So, y'all, anybody know Steve Harvey? I'm telling Steve Harvey, pick me, pick me. <laughs> but, nah, but all just aside, yo, whenever you guys out today, you know, just be a motivation to somebody, you know, just by giving them a smile, just by like, hey, no matter what you're going through, everything's going to be all right. God got your back. And, you know, we're all here to motivate, to motivate each other. So let's continue on keeping on doing that. Um, other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. I got. I don't think I have any other announcements. Nope, I don't have any other. Oh, my bad. Myron, and I know you probably watching the when you watch the playback and everything. Myron, please put up uh, Expressions LLC. They have an event coming up on next. I want to say it's next weekend. I have the I have the flyer. I, the flyer I will put up on motivated to the mat. Yo, hey, put that information up real quick, dog. For um, what y'all guys got going on on Expressions LLC, they have an event coming on. It's like their the end of the year event for where they have having like a uh, concert and everything. Yes, December the seventeenth. Thank you. It's December the seventeenth. Um, whatever. I will. I have the flyer on my personal page, so I will put it up on my personal page because um, yes, there you go. He put up the link. I know he would listen to Prince Lord. And so, like, yes, yeah, so it is um, www.expressionsllc.org. Go into the event tab. Yeah, event tab. And then it will tell you on what they got going on on December the 17th. Tickets are on sale right now. They are $15, if I'm not mistaken, per person. If you are if you want to be a vendor at that event, then I think the price is $35. Go to that website. Get all that information from them, from Expressions LLC. And, yo, let's go out and try to support them for when they have this event going on on December the 17th. I know Team Tisdale is planning on going because we're gonna buy our tickets on this coming on um, Friday. So just be looking out for our for our um invoice on um, Myron because we are planning on going um because we're gonna be rolling with the Princess of Poetry. She will be performing out there, and it's a great list of people that's going that's gonna be on that that's gonna be there on December the seventeenth. So check them out. Go on there. Go to their link. Check them out. Go to the event tab. And check them out. Wish we could be there. Look, I wish I could too. But go and check them out. Um, we're not sure if it's going to be live or anything like that. But you know, we know it's going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome time. You know, with Expressions LLC, what Team has with Mama and Patrice Harris. Um, I'm look, look, I'm looking forward to being out there. Um, because they, I've been trying to. You know, ever since I done had surgery and everything like that, I said, man, I want to get out there and, you know, and come and, you know, and come and feel the vibes and everything like that. And so, like, it's actually making a chance for me to be able to get out there. So, I thank God to be able to get out. See, look, I'm living in thankfulness, being able to get out there. It's going to be live music, food, poetry. Like, it's going down up in there. And then also, cool. And then, like, look, I look at this from, like, for teen tests and everything. Yo, this is our awesome date night for us. Hey! Date night. <laughs> I get date night with my honey. So yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be an awesome date night for us. So yeah, so if you guys want to go in, I mean, shoot, even if you can't come, if you want to make a donation to Expressions LLC, yo, go to that link, www.expression. That's expression with the X, not an E. Free ticket giveaway. Well, I want a free t- tonight at eight. I'll I'll be on. Oh, um, hold on. Yeah, he said they got free tickets giveaway tonight at eight o'clock. So like yeah, free tickets. So yo, check them out. It's gonna be up under their on um, their Facebook page, Expressions LLC. Uh, look out for them. They're on YouTube. They're on Facebook. They're on Instagram. I mean, check them out. And it's exactly how the way it's spelled. Like when you see it spelled right here, it's X. It's not. It's not with the E. It's with the X. Expressions LLC. Look out for, you know, look, go on Facebook, go follow it and everything like that. So then when they come on tonight at 8, you got a chance to win tickets for the show. I mean, I'm going to say, go to the show. <laughs> come on, go to the show. How you going to pass up live music, food, and then you get to hear poetry? I mean, that's like the best date night for me. 
All I just need just be like just to sit there, and chill, and have me a glass of, of nice wine, and just relax and enjoy the music. Yes, go to the page. Hold on, I'm about to put it up. We're going to help y'all, help some of y'all who want to go try to get y'all some free tickets. Look, go to the page, find a video that they did last night, and comment under the video, pick me. So, yeah, so they did a video last night. Go up and, you know, go find that video and comment under and say, pick me. And then I think you guys would be answered for a chance to win free tickets for their event on December the 17th. All right. So that is it from your boy. I pray and hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And be sure to follow Motivated to the Mass. And then also follow Expressions LLC with Myra and Patrice Harris. Yo, they're an awesome couple, yo. They they keep on pushing. They going in. They going hard. And so why not support them as well? Say, so, hey, they support Team Tisdale. Why not support them as well? So, hey, so you guys be blessed, man. Like I said, watch out later on tonight where they're going to be doing a live. So you guys got to go find a video that they did last night. It's up under Expressions. So, my expression, comment, pick me. And then you guys will be in the drawing for tickets for the event on December the 17th. All right, that's it. I love you all. Be blessed. Bye-bye.